Superintendent of Police East Kasi Hills, Silvasta Nongtinger, provided an update on the preparations for the upcoming Durga Puja celebrations. He confirmed that the police force is fully prepared, having meticulously devised a comprehensive security plan and made all necessary arrangements for the event. East Kasi Hills Police, as usual, we, we fully uh, prepared for this uh, big event that is Durga Puja. Like any other year, we are fully prepared. In fact, we had a meeting, a round of meeting with all my all the sector officers, with all the officers available in the city as well as these officers in the subdivision also. And we also already had meeting with uh, deputy commissioners, all the magistrates and uh, CPC also. And likewise, today also we have had a meeting with CPC, like we have checked out the programs regarding the loan order, the traffic, the security that will be placing in the in each Durga Puja like any other year regarding the timing we have uh, spoken with them and also uh, most important is like the procession on the day during immersion day so we we have uh, made a proper plan of course we are on the, on the line of preparing now we will make a proper plan to escort the the all the uh, processionists from the each panel to the immersion guard that is in, in Polo. So of course uh, uh, we have requested and spoken with CPC also today that uh, they should abide with the time that has been altered to them during the immersion day and of course we uh, have deployed a strong force in the immersion guards with all the police officer, the magistrate and the uh, other also and of course the traffic will be uh, we We'll make a proper plan, assessment, and the traffic also. Of course, you know that uh, Shillong is uh, traffic is heavy now. But in spite of that, we'll make our best efforts to deploy a good traffic plan so that on that day we will not uh, hamper or will not uh, block any other citizens a part of those who are participate in the Durga Puja. So as usual, we'll uh, we'll issue some do's and don'ts to this uh, in, in all the panels. Like they should abide the timings. This not so that uh, will not uh, disturb the nearby the localities sleeping this not so they should abide by the time this not so of course do so don will be issued to them and of course will be issued from the office of deputy commissioner that uh, rules and so on to them we will deploy the extra officers and manpower for this Durga uh, Puja uh, not only here then likewise in uh, in the border area also like in, in uh, under Sora subdivision. Then under Balat also we have, so we will deploy it uh, as per the requirement of uh, force, like we have deployed any other year. In short, I, I cannot tell you how much force we will uh, we'll be getting because we are still uh, writing to uh, PHQ, but we will deploy more than what we have deployed last year. Uh, um, is there any anticipation why these uh, more forces are being deployed? No, no. It's uh, what we feel is uh, it will be normal since this uh, celebration is uh, religious celebrations. So it's nothing uh, anticipate anything. But only that uh, you see, I understand the increasing of vehicles are uh, on the rise. So that's why we need to deploy more, be it in traffic, or be it in the with the procession, or be it in the immersion part. Because the force in Meghalaya Police, uh, we have the same. Whether uh, if if I ask me, ask we close from other districts, other districts where they need uh, manpower the same thing. So we we are utilizing what we have in hand. So we cannot ask from other districts because other districts so they have uh, their requirement.